greet our friends everywhere with chapter one of To Ask No Man, the story of George Mueller's incredible adventure with God. This is another in the series, Stories of Great Christians, brought to you by the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago. Let me introduce myself. I'm Henry Craig, preacher from Bristol, England. I knew George Mueller well, rather well indeed. We preached together, prayed together for some 40 years. So I want to tell you the truth about the fellow. The pictures they've painted, they've been so frightfully untrue made him out to be a kindly, bumbling old chap, don't you know, with a thick German tongue, conducting his business in hair-brained piety while he sentimentally patted grimy street urchins on their heads. Ah, oh, that wasn't the fellow I knew. Oh, no. George was a shrewd one. Always had me. And that takes me back. My story starts in Germany. The University of Halle, 1825. That noise? Oh, that's just the crowd from the university. Every night they're down here at the Grunertisch. Uh, they'll smash that back booth yet. Listen, that's Hans calling for another beer. And Emo. Behind the back booth, fellow. Come, join us. Shouting at the chap with the lean, rebellious look. At the chap in the doorway. Hey, look who's here. The preacher himself. <laughs> Over here, Mueller. Ah, now we'll have some sport. Evening, my fellow students. <laughs> Hans, Hans, I know how much your old papa sent you this week. I expect a treat. <laughs> okay, Hans, come on now. Ah, Fritz, Fritz, my boy, isn't this past your bedtime? <laughs> oh, such business, my man. And you, Emil, you spend so much time at a gruner dish. I expect you'll turn gruner yourself someday. <laughs> Here's George Mueller, the only divinity student who pawns his watch to pay his card debts more often than he reads his Bible. <laughs> uh, who says he's studying to be a Lutheran minister, <laughs> but we know he's already a jailbird. <laughs> uh, yes, Herr Mueller, who can cheat any hotel clerk out of a week's lodging. <laughs> all right, Emil, they all know me by now. Where's my beer? Where's my beer? Sure, sure. Say better. Uh, you all fellas all know George Mueller. He can down five quarts of beer at one sitting. I'm warning you. <laughs> he, he can. He can. I saw him do it myself. Evil. Uh, do I know everybody here tonight? Huh? Oh, let's see. Hans, Fritz. <laughs> oh, stupid me. Is Peter Schmidt here and uh, Beta there? Peter? Beta? This is George Mueller. The smartest fellow in the University of Halle. Uh, that is, when it comes to cheating on I dogs. know George Mueller. <laughs> well, then, uh, you know what a scoundrel he is, huh? What's that? Do you know me? Don't you remember? We went to school together. School? No. Halberstadt, Nordhaus. I can't remember all the faces. My name is Beta. Beta. Naturally. Actually, well, we both study together. Uh, there's my beer. There's my beer. Did I interrupt the story when I came in? Let's have the rest. Oh, none as good as yours, Miller. See, tell him about that hotel in Brunswick, oh, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay, you've heard it before. I haven't. Yeah, me either. I, I, I'd like to hear it. You better? Yeah. yeah go on, Mueller. Tell them how you went to Brunswick and then stayed in the best hotel there. You remember what huh? I wouldn't want to offend anybody here. All right, all right. I stayed at that Brunswick hotel six days. And then I got bored. So I left. Didn't pay a franc. Just tipped my hat and walked out past the hotel. Good morning, I said. 
Good morning, Heathen. <laughs> Didn't have a franc in my pocket. So then I... I knew they'd caught on to my extreme state of poverty. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to climb out the window, but it was too far to the ground. So I strolled out into the yard, walked right out the gate. You got away with it again? No, better. I was caught and thrown in jail. And they wouldn't even give me a Bible to read. <laughs> oh, I was miserable. <laughs> now enough of my story. I could do with some more beer. Hans, uh, I buy this time. Peter, Max Schnell. Good night, Hans, Fritz. Take care, Emil. See you all in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bucking your vein, Mueller. A uh, better. My, my lodgings are down the street. Uh, say, that was quite a story. Did you really go to jail? Uh, what was it like? Did, did they starve you? Did, did, did you meet any murderers there? Beta, I think you care little what happened to me in jail. I do. Why? So you can pray for me? I deserved that. I remember you, Beta. I remembered you right away. You for the fellow who would never cheat when he did not exam question. Mueller. You for the honorable student. I. I the, the Christian. Yeah, but I. I knew uh, you in school. And I wouldn't have a thing to do with you. That's why I. I wanted to walk home with you tonight. Yeah, that's why I let you. What do you mean? You want to talk to me about the good life. Mueller, when you knew me before... When I saw I... you tonight, I thought, there's that fellow again. I don't know what he's doing in the tavern, but he's here. I can explain. But uh, this living life, like it's one big card game, it's not for me anymore. What? I'm going to be a minister. To please your papa. No matter. If the ministry is your profession, you live a decent life. Bet I'm sick of all this silliness. Gambling, cheating, too much drinking. But I can't get away from it. But, Mueller, everybody knows you have more fun than anybody else. When I saw you tonight, I knew that here was one fellow who could tell me. But, but, Mueller... That's why I let you walk home with me tonight. I want us to be friends better. I want to be friends too, Mueller. That is why I follow you down the street. It's good, then. I always have. Always? Well, back at school, I... I looked up to you. But you called me a sinner. Envied you because you were so good at cards. Because you weren't scared of the teachers or, or the police. Better or, uh, you? Well, I stood on the fringes, going off to prayer meeting with my Bible. You tell me you're true with all that? No, no. But I want to live a little, too. Better. This is all wrong. When I found out you were at Harla, at the university, I thought to myself, if I can be friends at Mula, maybe I can learn how to be gay and happy. You thought that? Yeah. And Mueller thinks if he can be friends with Beta. <laughs> I can learn to be good. <laughs> oh, better. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, What is to say? We will be friends, yeah? Good. Uh, on, we will let the fates decide. Uh, the decide? Which way we go? Your way or mine? The, the fates, huh? Or the devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the devil. <laughs> Good holidays, Mueller. Going home? Home. Switzerland. Emil and Hans. And Beta, too? Wouldn't go step without my good friend Beta. Hey, say, where are you getting your money? 
I thought you were broke. Don't worry. I'll find my money somewhere. I can't argue with my papa. He won't sign my passport. That's that. Yeah, nor mine either. Says he doesn't like my friends. That I'll get into no good if I go hiking through Switzerland with Mueller and... Uh, Who says Mueller? Oh, George. Come join the gloom party, Mueller. Why gloom? Passports. Yeah. Why passports? Our parents won't sign, Mueller. Not mine. Nor anyway. mine. Nor mine. So? So? So we sign them ourselves. Simple as that. S sign ourselves? You, you mean... You don't dare do that. I do. But, but that's... Forgery. It's a summer in Switzerland, too. Now, the passport forms. Let me have them. And once this is done, we talk about budgets and such. Who will hold the purse and all such necessary foolishness? Oh, better. Uh, excuse me, Mueller. Thought you were napping. The others are. I woke up. Yeah, birds sing too loud. Sorry if I interrupted you. Well, what were you doing? Nothing at all. Well, now you, you were. So this is your business? Well, don't be so cross. I, I saw you. How's that? You, you were being a good fellow and catching up on the bookkeeping while we were napping. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I hate bookkeeping. Uh, no good at it at all. Glad we let you hold the purse. Well, some of us have a little talent for money. Oh, you do? Uh, how are we coming? It's good. But from now on, we go easy. Oh? Sleep in the fields a few nights a week. Will that do? Uh, not yet. We have to be careful, though. Uh, yeah. All of us? What does that mean? Well, I mean, we all have to slow down on our spending, huh? The way I figure it, we all... You, me, Hans, Emil, all have the same laugh. We all have to go easy. Uh, I'll take your word for it. If you want to see the books, what I put in when we start, but you, Hans, Emil, it is there. Just today, I was bringing things up today. No, 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 no. I hate bookkeeping. Uh, glad you have a talent for money, Mueller. <laughs> Might be very valuable someday. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> valuable someday. <laughs> and so we conclude Chapter One of. To Ask No Man, the story of George Mueller's incredible adventure with God. This is another in the series Stories of Great Christians, which come to you transcribed from the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago. Chicago.